In the spirit of honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a special presentation for the students, faculty, and staff of Hillsborough Community College. Well, we're having a uh, documentary that is going to be shown today uh, by Mr. Clinton King. It's a documentary on the Civil Rights Movement in St. Augustine, Florida. And um, it's a documentary that actually is um, shown in quite a few other areas around the country. So we're uh, lucky to have them here on our campus. There was people there that wanted to put kerosene on them or diesel and set them on fire at night and they was not kidding. They were serious. The documentary, Passage at St. Augustine, an award-winning civil rights film produced by former broadcast journalist Clennon L. King. Basically, it's about the oldest city in the United States that, ironically, most people don't realize is named for a black preacher, an African bishop uh, that was the most violent of all civil rights campaigns in the entire movement. Clannon L. King's 57-minute documentary focuses on the game-changing civil rights events that happened in North Florida. War was declared in the nation's oldest city. It was pivotal because of the fact that it was what was leveraged to pass the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the landmark Civil Rights Act. And most people don't know that. When they think about the Civil Rights Movement, they think about Georgia, they think about Alabama, they think about Mississippi. They don't think about Florida. And yet that battlefield was, you know, critically important. Yeah. Passage at St. Augustine brings the audience back to the battlefield, allowing us to hear from those involved and those who witnessed the fight over change in St. Augustine. This movement was also driven by young black kids, not in college, but in high school. They were young kids, and you're going to see this, who basically drove this right to the White House, right to the state, to the uh, U.S. Capitol, and right basically to changing the law of the land. From civil rights veterans to Ku Klux Klansmen and many more, the documentary highlights voices and accounts from those who lived to tell what really happened in the spring of 1964. That firewall, in a word, was segregation. And so it was about knocking down that firewall, if you will, and then uh, basically allowing this community, you know, full citizenship to be able, not, you know, irrespective of skin color, to be able to follow their tax dollars wherever they were spent. The documentary left our Ybor City campus audience thinking. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's a great film, especially for the younger audience, uh, so they can have a grasp on what happened, so we don't lose touch of our history. It's hard for me to sit here and not state what I think is correct. Uh, we as a race of people are not smiley faces. I have to believe in my heart, that yes, there is resentment. You can't get the hell beat out of you and not resent the pain that you went through. I, I, I think people need to understand that yes, it took a lot of discipline to do what was done in order to get the Civil Rights Bill passed. But God bless America, or God damn it, they didn't enjoy doing it. And we need to understand that. I want students to be able to understand uh, the root of our collective history as Americans. And uh, it's a fascinating story of uh, really a lot of trials and tribulations and uh, struggle that uh, has made us the great country that we are. Thank you, President, student body, staff, faculty, alumni, uh, the community at large. Thank you so much for uh, having me come and, and share with you uh, what I think is an amazing story, a story that's very Florida-based. It is powerful. A time in our nation's history, Clennon L. King says, deserves to be remembered. Florida's in a unique position in as much as this battlefield was here, and as a result, it's holy ground. And yet very few of us know this story. In Ybor City, Razo Coffee, Hawk TV News. Passage at St. Augustine.